Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This reading is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest. The only message I got for you, Cancer, is to stay in your power no matter what. Because there's things happening outside of you you can't control. And you're going to have to like come to terms with that so you can keep going. Lots of things going on in the ethers right now, especially for my water signs. If you're not sure, please check your, your chart where your water is because that is what is being affected in each planet. Jupiter, Neptune, all of them. Your water is what's being affected. If it's your sun sign or your rising sign, you're being super affected, okay? I want you to check your Vedic Astrology as well. That will give you more clarity on your chart. Because, yeah, I see you in the Eight of Swords energy right now. Feeling stuck. Don't be stuck, Cancer. Don't be stuck. You're definitely standing in your Queen of Swords energy. The truth and nothing but the truth. That's all you want. You don't want any other... Uh, of the rest of the bullshit you just want the truth and you feel like you're stuck we got the world here it's it's like you feel like the world's got you stuck what's going on in the world's got you stuck okay more stuck in your head than anything here cancer but you just had a wish granted and a powerful powerful new beginning See it for what it is. See through the illusions, Cancer. See through the illusions is what I'm hearing. Um, what is this Eight of Swords that's, that Cancer has to get through? That is the challenge here. Got y'all bumming and everything. Yeah. This is either a childhood trauma from maybe a father figure that you're leaving behind. You're choosing to not know whatever this is and to heal. Could be an Aries or a father. It's a father figure or a boss of some kind. Somebody you might have to walk away from, to choose to walk away from, to come out of this confusion that you're in right now that's got you in this Eight of Swords energy. So you can heal. So you can heal that. Alright? I know it's scary sometimes, guys. But a lot of this is just illusion. Don't let it freak you out. You're on the right track. You're in the Ten of Pentacles in the immediate future. Check this out. Family, home, money, friends, everything. Definitely money. If you're way, if you, that's what's got you down. It's coming. Let's see. Let's clarify this. Yeah. I feel like you're very disappointed in your job. Juggling home, family, and all that. I think it's just. I think it's a lot for you. And there's something that that's either just happened or about to happen I think you're about to hurt somebody cancer you love what you do for a living and either you're gonna, you're gonna tell a boss or a husband father to get lost and you're gonna choose yourself I feel like this is coming from you cancer you have it all. But there's something definitely weighing heavy on your mind. And it has to do with this emperor energy. But you're about to... Queen of Swords. It. Okay. Somebody's about to get hurt. Still got two cups standing. Remember that if this is you... Ace of Cups, choosing to love yourself and love what you do. Eight of Pentacles and the Tower. 
I think you're choosing that over a person and you're choosing not to juggle it anymore. Five of Cups, being disappointed about your choice. This is what you need to overcome from what I can see here. Because you can't see the way forward it's got you kind of in an elusive state. We've got the Five of Cups here twice. You definitely, there's definitely some depression going on here. Oh, my little lovelies. Nine of Wands. You wounded, but you're not down. I think you just found out about a third party, a queen of wands. You found out the truth and it was quick and swift. And you have a brand new understanding of what was kept secret from you. Which was a queen of wands and a three of cups. That's why you're in the Five of Cups energy twice. Because I don't think you were expecting it from this person. You found out they had somebody else. And like I said, you're wounded, but you ain't down. You're still standing. I'm still standing better than I ever did. And the Five of Swords, this is the outside influence of fight. You guys may have just gotten into a fight. Now you're like, you just got a headache. You don't want to mess with it no more. You're tired. You're over it. I think it's too much drama for you. Yeah, lies, deceit, lovers. Yeah, we got lies, deceit, lovers, and somebody who is not emotionally stable here. Somebody who's been lying to you the whole time. Could be a Pisces. Or they could have Pisces predominantly in their chart. This is somebody offering you their cup. While trying to. Lie, cheat, or steal. Behind your back. And I think you just found out about this. Okay, that's why you're in the Five of Swords energy trying to... Five of Swords and Nine of Swords. I think you went after this person's jugular. I mean, you went, you went after this person. They gonna ruin the day they messed with, with, uh, with cancer. I'm gonna tell you, I got a daughter with cancer. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Your hopes and fears is a brand new beginning in love. And, and Cancer, with the Ace of Cups here twice, I feel like this is your new understanding about your own self-love. And you're learning how to do that. You don't need vindication from this other person who possibly cheated on you and then came and told you about it afterwards to see what you would do. Come on. Come on. For real. I think cancer's just I feel I feel you guys rolling your eyes. Okay. <laughs> I mean it's like it's like you're sitting in this this real um emotionally unstable energy. You're very upset, you're very depressed over this person lying to you. They're gonna apologize. But I don't think you want to hear it, Cancer. I don't think you want to hear it. We have the Chariot as your final outcome and the King of Cups. So there's definitely something else here for you and it's on its way in. That's the fastest card in the deck. So it's on its way in, Cancer. Wow. Could be 
dealing with the Sag. We have Temperance here. Somebody's coming in to try to balance things out, to take some of the burden off of you. Cancer. This is the divine stepping in. Because I got the chariot twice and a message coming in. There's definitely a divine intervention happening here with the Hierophant and the chariot twice. Something that is weighing you down, maybe financially. You're about to get a message about that. I think it's going to be an answer to something you've been asking. It's going to allow you to balance things out in this situation. Whether that's abundance or, or you know, a divorce or whatever it is. They're going to help you balance this out. I don't know who's going to help you. I, I don't see it as the person that is the one that's doing this. Yeah, no, I don't see it as that person. They're going to, this person is trying to take you to court. They want your money, Cancer. They want your money. This could be another Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Somebody is definitely not showing their true feelings. Somebody is hiding something from you. I think they're get, trying to get you react to react so they have a case against you. Please do not do so. This fight is brutal. And I want you to please sit yourself down, sit your ass down, and seriously consider the repercussions if you react this way, in the way that this person wants you to, okay? There is always cause and effect. And I want you to understand that this, even though this person may have ghosted you or they are after your money at this point in time. They will take you to court over this marriage for a brand new beginning. Unless this is you. Could be. I don't know. That's why you got to take it how it resonates. Somebody's definitely going to go to court here. Because there's a lack of situation at hand I don't think you want to fight about it anymore tell you the truth I think you're okay with this five of pentacles you're just like I'm done leave me alone I don't want to talk about it anymore and this person keeps trying to apologize and keeps trying to come in and you're just like you know whatever <laughs> whatever and and the, the heads up here, there's the courthouse. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Coffin, please be very, very careful with this energy, Cancer. I can't stress it to you enough. If you lose your temper in the wrong way, shape, or form right now, this person is going to try to use that against you. Okay? This person will take you to court. They're not afraid to. They might even try to put you in jail. So be very careful about how you handle this situation. Do not do anything physical. Please. I feel like they're willing to fight you for this, whatever it is. And you need to be ready. If, you, if, you have, if you're not dealing with this right now... You need to be ready for that tower. Stabbed in the back. Jumped right out. Yeah. Somebody's definitely doing you dirty right now. Because this is all in and out. The past, present, and future happening time. It's all happening at once. Third party. The chaser. Cupid's arrow. And paradise. And you know, Cancer, I'm seeing you sitting there in a lounge chair 
say in Florida saying you know what you made your bed lay in it while they're chasing you and trying to say hey, baby, but baby I love you baby I love you but baby I love you please come back please come back to me or I'll fight you for it okay this person is afraid you're going to abandon them they have abandonment issues I think you've already worked through those cancer but there's three people here for sure for sure you may even be talking to the person that they are messing with and I do believe you're gonna find new love very very soon Leave your heart open enough to see it. Because this other person has definitely shut down some shit. And you need to you need to see it for what it is, okay? I think you are. I really feel like you're just lounging there going, you know what? Yeah, fool me once. You ain't gonna do it again. We have love is at the heart of the matter. Forbidden love. Wow. So maybe I'm just saying, you know, maybe it's you that has somebody else. Let's find out, shall we? Where is love in this deck? Where's love? <laughs> Where's love? Where is the love? Seriously, I don't see it. Stomach's growing. Wow. So they tell you this card exists, but then they don't label it? Oh, I got the wrong book. That could be why. That could be why. I just got these cards, guys. Bear with me. Bear with me. 46. They're real short. Okay, this says... Choosing this symbol is a powerful sign that love in all forms is in your life right now. There is a responsibility to this also. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm not seeing very well today. You must give love freely without conditions. Unknown oh, caller. gosh. Really? Everything to interrupt. I don't know why it's trying to interrupt this particular. Like I said, there's lots of crazy stuff going on in the uh, ethers right now, guys. And I'm blind. I mean, I am really blind. Let me read this over. Choosing this symbol is a powerful sign that love in all forms is in your life right now. There is a reason, responsibility to this also. You must give love freely without conditions and love others because your heart is open. There is something else here to consider. Love can be confusing, a, a confusing force too and can sometimes ask a sacrifice of you. If your heart is aching and feels like it's broken, know that love has a greater love for you later. No matter what you are, where you are in your life right now, love has come to guide you into an important experience. Trust in love. And I'm gonna see what forbidden says because that probably goes along with this. You don't have to stick around. You can always watch it later. There it is. 
another eight, 62. Okay, this says, not all doorways are meant to be, re be opened. Not all relationships are good for you. Not all love is expressed and not all desires are realized. Right now I'm saying no to you. The symbol for forbidden also reminds you that although you may feel pain when someone rejects you, this is one of my ways of protecting you. I may whisper in someone's ear to stay away. It is for the best, even if you don't believe it right now. This is a symbol to move on and choose another path. Okay. Well, I hope that helps someone. And please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you next time. Till then, stay safe. Bye.